Lee Container has been a leading container manufacturer for over 25 years. Our bottles hold products that we all depend on, such as motor oil and crop protection chemicals. The next time you use a plastic container, take a closer look at it. It's a simple thing, but we want to show you what it takes to make a bottle. It's an interesting process. A Lee bottle begins with a customer's need to satisfy a demand for their product. Our sales team works with the customer to define the container that will best serve their purpose. We discuss specifications, such as the size and shape of the container, handle style, neck dimensions, weight, and color, among other details. The customer may select one of our many stock containers that are popular in a variety of markets. If the customer decides that a new bottle style best fits their need, the Lee team will use a computer-aided design program to create a virtual three-dimensional bottle. Once the new design is approved, Lee works with a tool and die manufacturer to create a mold. This mold will be used to produce a limited number of samples for quality assurance testing. When these samples pass the initial testing, a larger quantity may be needed for additional tests by the customer. Upon final customer approval, we schedule production to fulfill the customer's purchase order. Our containers are made exclusively from high-density polyethylene plastic resin, also known as HDPE resin. This material will be mixed with color pigment and recycled materials in a hopper on top of the plastic extruding equipment when we start up the production line. The first step in the production process is to install the appropriate molds in the scheduled production line. A technician will also set up a variety of downstream equipment, such as trimmers, leak testers, labelers, and carton assemblers. Once the molds are in place, the technician will program the extruder with the appropriate levels of heat to melt the blend of HDPE resin, color pigment, and recycled plastic resin. The blend is then fed from the hopper to the extruder screw, where it is melted to temperatures of up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. The extrusion of a hollow tube of plastic called a parison and the movement of the molds are precisely synchronized. When the parison reaches a predetermined length, the two halves of the mold are pushed together. The mold captures the parison in just the right position and cuts it from the plastic that follows it out of the extruder. Pressurized air then blows the parison against the inner walls of the mold to form the bottle. Cold water circulates through the aluminum molds and the hot semi-liquid bottle becomes a rigid plastic bottle in seconds. As the process begins, the technician uses a touchscreen computer to program multiple points along the length of the parison. This precise control allows us to put more plastic into an area where the bottle needs to be thick, such as the areas that will become the neck, handle, and bottom of the bottle. The initial setup of a production line takes time. So bottles are rejected and ground up for recycling until the extruder and wheel are brought under control. Once the technician begins to produce bottles that meet the standard, quality assurance technicians take samples from each mold for initial QA testing. The QA technician measures neck dimensions to ensure proper capping in the customer's filling operation. The technician checks wall thickness to make sure the corners and bottom are resistant to denting or breaking. The most severe test of any bottle is the drop impact test. Bottles from each mold are filled with water, capped, and dropped repeatedly in several orientations. As we confirm the quality of the bottles, all the activity down line has to flow smoothly. The bottle is removed from the mold, either robotically or by a line operator. Automated equipment trims excess plastic, called flash, from the top and bottom of the bottle. We grind the flash for reuse, most often in the same production run. Next, the bottle is conveyed down the production line to the automatic leak detector. Pressurized air inflates the bottle at this station. If air escapes, the machine automatically rejects the container. A technician then investigates the cause of the rejection. If no air escapes during this test, the bottles continue down the line. At this point in the production process, a bottle could go directly to a packing station or through value-added steps. 
One of the value-added steps is labeling. Lee works with label suppliers and labeling equipment to suit our customers' needs. We also work with carton manufacturers and carton assembly equipment to offer the service of packing bottles into an end-user package. Our line operators are trained to inspect both labels and cartons for defects. They also visually inspect bottles looking for poorly formed necks, color variations, and thin corners. A predetermined number of bottles make up a unit. Each unit is tagged for traceability back to the date and line of production. In the event of problems in the field, Lee Container can use this tag to pinpoint when and where a bottle was made. That information enables us to check production and quality assurance records for a given production run. Once the bottles are securely wrapped, they are transported to specific warehouse locations for future shipment to the customer. Our computer inventory control system pinpoints the location of a given customer's containers in any of our three locations across the country. We currently have over 1 million square feet of warehouse capacity in Georgia, Texas, and Iowa. Lead time can be a key factor for many of our customers, so we use our warehouse space to their advantage. We work with customers individually to establish inventory that they may need quickly. We also use this space to offer in-house fluorination for our customers who package a variety of chemicals. Our plants are strategically located to serve our customers across the country. Over the past 25 years, Lee Container has built a solid network of reliable shipping companies. Therefore, our customers know they can depend on us for prompt delivery of their containers. Lee Container has built a solid reputation by providing its customers dependable quality products, backed by our ability to be responsive and agile in solving our customers' problems. Every member of the Lee Container family is dedicated to customer satisfaction. We consider our customers to be part of our family, and we're proud of the relationships we've built over the years. It's humbling when customers honor us with awards for the quality containers we work so hard to produce. We don't take those awards for granted. When you see a plastic container on a shelf at your favorite store, think about the complicated process involved in making that simple little item. And when you think about quality and service, 